All right, hey y'all. So, um, one, I really do hope that y'all are staying safe and y'all are enjoying this time off as best as you can. Uh, I'm sure some of you are like, wait, there's a pandemic going on? I'm just always on my phone. Um, but I really do miss y'all. It's crazy. It's Thursday um, of our second week of spring break when I'm making this. Um, and it's just really weird. It's a weird time. But so why I'm making this video is um, <clears throat> is since I am not near you guys, um, I figured we're going to start having to do um, some instruction online. So with that, you're like, oh, this is awesome. I can mute Mr. Thompson for once and I can talk all I want. So um, but we still have things we got to cover and we're going to cover it the best I can. First and foremost, I hope if you have any questions at all ever that you ask me, um, I have my email, which I'll put in the link for our assignments. It'll be on this page with all these links and everything. Um, or you do remind, I am working, like I said, this is Thursday. I'm working on trying to come up with some like office hours over like a video chat. So maybe Tuesday, whenever our assignments for math are, are supposed to be assigned, um, maybe I can have office hours where you could pop in on a video chat, ask your questions, and then just scoop. So um, looking at that kind of stuff, um, but it's a weird time. And uh, I mean, these, to be fair, I've never, whenever I was in college, we never had a class over instructing during a global pandemic. Um, so this is all new to us. So we're going to get through it. Um, but so we're kind of going to try to get back to a little bit of normal. So if you're in regular, regular math, we are kind of still talking about circles. Um, we're going to be talking about um, area of circles. So like all the space inside of a circle calculating that and then we're talking about circumference which is basically the perimeter it's like the distance around it if you are in advanced uh, we are still talking about um, surface area of all those 3d shapes so it should be kind of still continuation so um, like I said any questions at all please ask um, please have your parents ask um, if you have internet access just know that you have a ton of resources which I will try to link um somewhere on my page on my google classroom if you're part of my google classroom um my packets things like that whatever i'm gonna just gonna, i have all this time so i'm just gonna try to cast a wide net so we're gonna get through this um i miss you guys but we gotta get down to some math so let's let's get to it okay so now we're looking at our notes and I've, I've drawn on this one so it looks a little bit different but your page should look something like this and i tried to do it on the document camera earlier but um for some reason my voice was delayed so sorry about that but so let's look at first the top where we talked about circumference and radius okay so a radius is a point from the center to the outside. The diameter is going through the center and it goes all the way across. And our, import, our important relationship between the two is if I have a radius my diameter is going to be twice the length of the radius, okay? So if my radius here was 5, my diameter is going to be twice that, okay? So then going all the way across would be 10. Because if I drew another radius from the point outwards, that's another 5, 5 units. And so together, that's 10. So using that then if going the opposite way if i'm given a diameter i know that my radius twice my radius is going to get my diameter so therefore half of my diameter finds me the radius so 
I told you I have a diameter of 30. Okay, and I wanted to know what the radius, and you will need to know how to go between the two. So, diameter is half, or the radius is half the diameter. So, half of 30 would then be equal to 15. So, you're going to need to know that, be able to switch between the two, so don't get those confused. So, um... That's going to be important. So now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to talk about examples one and two on the bottom. And we're not going to talk about area this week. Um, figured let's just get our, um, our feet wet into what exactly is distance learning and making sure we keep up with our assignments. So not going to give you too much this week. So let's just make sure. Uh, we get circumference down. And the next week we'll talk about areas. So this is example one at the bottom. So they've kind of already worked it out for you, but let's work through it together and it's just so we're on the same page. So if I'm calculating circumference, and this is all up top, so please make sure you don't just skim through this. Okay, this kind of puts a little bit of learning on y'all. Um, but circumference, and we've already talked about it, is the distance around that circle. So it's like perimeter. And so we have our formulas. You have C, which stands for circumference, is equal to 2 times pi times the radius. Okay? Or we have C is equal to pi times the diameter. So depending on what type of circle we're given, we have a formula for it. And they both will accomplish the exact same thing. So C is equal to 2 pi r and C equals pi d. So if we're given a radius, we might use the top one. If we're given a diameter, we'll use the bottom one. And so on example one, they tell you r is equal to 4 centimeters. And so a lot of times they might say that r is equal to 4 centimeters, but a lot of times they might just give you this little line segment and say that's 4. And so you got to figure out, is that a radius? Is that a diameter? And so plugging that in, I have... C is equal to 2 times pi. So remember, pi is equal to 3.14. And then times the radius. Okay, I looked at it, radius of 4. So now that we have all our numbers plugged in, all we have to do is multiply. And it does not matter what order that we go whenever we're multiplying. Three numbers in a row. Okay, we could start out by doing two times three point one four, and then multiply it by four. I could do my whole numbers, and then multiply it by three point one four. Whatever works for you. Um, so I actually let's. I'll actually like to do that that latter way. So two times four is eight. So then we're just left with eight times three point one four. And whenever we do that, we should get a circumference of 25.12 centimeters. Alright, so all you do once you plug your formula in is you multiply. Okay, that's all that's happening here. You can check your work with the calculator. Like I said, I'm not there, so to kind of look over it, but I strongly suggest that you do it by hand first and then check it with the calculator. Okay? So, given a radius, we plugged it into the formula that involves radius. But what I like to do is, and when we go into that formula, I actually like C equals pi times diameter a lot better because you're multiplying two numbers as opposed to three. Okay? Work, work smarter, not harder. So, I would look at this and I say, radius was 4. Hey, diameter then is twice that, so it's 8. And then I just do 8 times 3.14. And then I've already skipped a whole bunch of steps. Okay. So, brings us into this next one. So, example 2, you have a diameter of 10. Okay, and they even tell you, diameter D is equal to 10 centimeters. So, all we do here, again, is... Now it's our diameter, and so we plug it in. So you get 3.14 times our diameter, which is 10, 
whenever we do that, 3.14 times 10, that's equal to 31.4 centimeters. Okay, so all we're doing is plugging things in. So now what we're going to do, get this homework page in front of you. If you have it on open in a tab, that's fine. Just where you can have the video open to. This is going to be where your assignment's going to come from. Okay, so. Okay, so what we're going to look at is problem one and problem five together. So whenever you do this and how I'm going to record your answers is you are going to take the problems that I assign here in a little bit. And whenever you have solved it, you're going to plug them into this Google form. Um, and then that's how I'm going to grade it. Okay. I'm going to look at some better ways in the future. Like I said, this is all new to me. So kind of what we're doing um, online, I'm sure there's a better way than that. But just for this week, you're going to input your answers into this Google form and it should tell you what you're doing. So, or what grade you made. So, and I think if I'm not mistaken, I think it'll let you take it multiple times. So if you want to take it until you make a hundred, go ahead and do that. So, um, if I look at number one, so it just gives you, it says determine the radius or diameter of each circle with its given dimensions. And so basically what it's doing is they gave you, they said diameter is equal to 18, 18 inches. They basically want you to just give the other. So if they give you the diameter, they want you to find the radius. If they find the radius, they want you to give you the diameter. So if I know my diameter is 18, then I know my radius is half that, so my radius is going to be 9 inches. Okay? So, then number 5 is actually circumference. And so, number 5, I look at this circle and I say, I have a circle. I have something that goes all the way across. What is that thing that's going all the way across? Because it doesn't tell you now. And I look back at my notes. Handy little notes. Hey, the thing that goes all the way across is your diameter. And so I know I'm going to use my formula. Circumference is equal to pi times diameter. Okay, so looking at it, circumference is equal to 3.14 times 42. Okay, and if I do that over here off to the side, Super messy, and I apologize, but what are you going to do? So, calculating that, I believe we should get 131.88 meters. Okay, and that is my answer. So, whenever you get on the Google form, what I'm going to have you do is I know it's bad practice and not writing the units, but you're just going to put the number. Okay. So that's kind of how I want it. So now whenever you're doing this, I know you're getting to the work part. So please, please, please ask me any questions. Like I said, um, I will put announcements out. I will have all the information once I figure out the video chatting software. So good luck guys. Um, again, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.